Imagine you want to ask for advice, but you can't. Imagine it's really urgent, but you can't use the emergency helplines because the person on the other line doesn't understand you. Nowadays, we have become very much dependent on online services for all sorts of aspects in our daily life. From utility bills, banking, our shopping, restaurant bookings to emergency services like police or calling an ambulance. Doing all these things online can be handy if there are no issues, but often we still will need to speak to someone. It can be a frustrating process if that happens, and I don't know anyone who really likes being in a queue. But if you've lost your voice box because of surgery, this can become even more of a challenge. Laryngectomy is a life-changing operation in which the larynx or voice box has been removed most of the time because of advanced stages of head and neck cancer. The trachea or the windpipe is brought forward into the neck and the lungs are no longer connected to the mouth. The most often used form of speech recovery is tracheosophageal voice, in which a valve is placed to connect the trachea with the esophagus or the food pipe. The air passage from the lungs then causes a part of the gullet to vibrate and produce sound. This sound then travels up further into the mouth where it is shaped into speech. This new voice, however, is non-sinusoidal in wave and irregular in nature, and therefore a challenge for traditional communication devices to pick it up. The sound is also much lower, and this causes even more problems for women, who are then often mistaken for men and the phone being put down on them. So we reached out to Reese Peacher and asked them if they couldn't help out with their technology and facilitate our target group in their online communication. Hi, my name is Grant. I'm a co-founder of a company called Respeecher. We make a technology to allow one person to speak in the voice of another person with very high quality. So it's been used mostly in the entertainment industry so far. For instance, you may know there's a TV show called The Mandalorian based on Star Wars, and it was used in that TV show to create the voice of Luke Skywalker. So since the beginning, since we founded the company uh, about four years ago, we've had the idea that our technology could be useful not only in entertainment, but also to help people with impaired speech by allowing them to transform their voice either to their previous unimpaired voice or to just some other voice that sounds good. Um, but we didn't pursue this direction immediately because our system initially did not work in real time and was not robust enough to low quality inputs. So luckily, recently, both of these aspects of the system have improved. And uh, so we just tried using the existing system on uh, some TEP and electrolarynx speech from laryngectomies. And we found that in both cases, it was able to improve the quality of the speech. Um, so here are some samples, uh, first of two, first of all, a TEP and an electrolarynx speaker who have a very high quality of speech for TEP and electrolarynx in the first place um, using our non-real-time system, which currently has a, a somewhat better quality than the real-time system. And then we have uh, a video interview in real-time with a different um, TEP speaker um, that, that shows the current uh, status of the real-time system. When I first wrote his name, I said, just as you are going to say, but I thought he was a boy. When I first heard his name, I said, just as you are going to say, but I thought he was a boy. The only way of coming downstairs. But sometimes he feels that there really is another way. The only way of coming downstairs. But sometimes he feels that there really is another way. He was traveling to Chicago for a business meeting. The meeting was on a Thursday, and he wanted to explore the city for a few days before the meeting. He was traveling to Chicago for a business meeting. The meeting was on a Thursday, and he wanted to explore the city for a few days before the meeting. He was traveling to Chicago for a business meeting. The meeting was on a Thursday, and he wanted to explore the city for a few days before the meeting. 
The rainbow is a division of white light in so many beautiful colours. These take the shape of a long round arch with its path high above and its two ends apparently beyond the horizon. The rainbow is a division of white light in her many beautiful colours. Let's take the shape of a long round arch with its path high above and its two ends apparently beyond the horizon. So, um, Sarah, why don't you tell yeah. us what you did after last time? You kept it on, didn't you? Oh, yes. And I spoke, and they heard me. Pretty incredible. Our next steps are that we are planning to improve the quality of the system, um, both in the course of just general improvements that we're making to the real-time system that are for all of our um, customers, um, but, but also uh, we plan to do some research specifically in the direction of making the system better for laryngectomies, and we're working with some uh, with doc Dr. Thomas Moores and some other people uh, in this direction. We also are plan to do more and more trials uh, with patients to find out how they could use this technology and uh, what they most need um, to improve their quality of life.